journal memory. Two, my father's vulnerability. My father and I awoke standing side by side in vast redwood forest. A young, three and a half foot tall gnome with long, acorn colored approached us. While striding towards us on a dirt trail, the gnome called out. Hello, my name is Johan. I am one of the zoo wizards here in the forest known as Redwood. My father replied gruffly. My daughter and I lost our memories. We know we once worked as zookeepers in Redwood and that we lived here in the forest. That is correct. You have been returned to our world, your home, and your zoo, brother. I sprung forward, clapping my hands together. Finally, we have escaped Earth. I and your return brings me joy. Sadly, however, all of the female gnomes who traveled with you are gone. The young wizard kicked at a rock embedded in the dirt trail as he went on to remind us of our lost companions. One gnome male and one gnome female were paired together to watch over a single winged kitten. The men dispatched their female partners and stole the kittens. I gasped in astonishment, shock, and disbelief. I stared down the long, empty trail behind me, half expecting to see the large group of gnomes who the humans had helped return to Earth alongside me and my father. I remembered the sixteen bearded gnomes in the group, each gnome man bearing the rugged facial features of a stubborn dwarf. These dwarf looking gnomes had been trusted with protecting 16 young gnome women and 16 equally innocent winged animals. By the gods, why did they commit such vile crimes, I demanded. Appearing perhaps too shocked to speak, my father nearly fell into a nearby redwood tree. He grasped the tree with both hands leaning into the tree's bulk. When I tried to help him, my embarrassed father waved me away. A brief memory of my past returned to me unexpectedly. I recall a day, a day during my childhood, I assumed. On that past day, my poor father had been lying injured in bed. A three-headed zoo beast had clawed the back of his knee. He had yelled and cursed Luli, violently and tirelessly, pausing only to yell at me to cover my ears. My eyes grew wet with sympathy. I watched my stubborn father nearly fall, then straighten, lifting the leg that had been injured terribly. A month of swirling within a black hole has stolen much of your body's strength. Johann's appearance shifted from a plump-faced youth to appear as his future self, a deflated-looking, white-haired man. I did not blink. The enchanted bodies of gnomes often shifted from how they looked in the past, the present, and how they would appear in the future. I have recovered. I want revenge on the gnome guards. Where do the rats hide? Where have they taken the stolen felines? The animal thieves have remained elusive for the last few weeks, I fear. In three sentences or more, journal your memory of how you reacted to a loved one being vulnerable or injured.